We're at 743 at KNEB and 21 degrees. Time for today's News Extra. Brought to you by First State Bank. Here's Kevin Moon. And thank you, Dennis. Good morning, everyone. And our guest today is uh, Jeff Nichols. He is president of the Nebraska Dry Bean Growers Association. And a uh, big day today for these folks is uh, they're going to have Bean Day today at a different location over at the uh, Gearing Civic Center. You guys, uh, Jeff, have had it over at the uh, event center over in Mitchell. You're going to switch it a little bit today. means a little less work for you guys, right? Yeah, we're changing things up a little bit. Um, we thought the move to the Civic Center would be an interesting trial, and if it works well, we're going to continue to have it there. Um, we figure it would be a little easier for everyone to hear. won't have the reverberation from the steel building, mm -hmm. and we can separate the vendors in the front hall, you know, and equipment is be able to park out front in the parking lot. And uh, it does lessen the work for us a little bit. Uh, the meat shop does a great job of catering, and and it, we don't have all this set up and tear down either. Yeah, yeah, so and, a little bit uh, less work for you guys. You know, and, and this year the meal is sponsored by Kelly Bean Company, so that that takes a load on our shoulders too. Yeah, yeah. So I think it'll work out. I think you'll like it. Uh, uh, not that the event center doesn't do a good job, but uh, uh, the Civic Center definitely. Uh, you'll find uh, that Rick will give you a good meal. Rick and Judy will take care of you. No question about it. All right, let's uh, kind of go over uh, your agenda today. Uh, you guys got a lot of things going on. Um, and you have uh, some pretty good speakers, including uh, uh, maybe we should mention John Burge right off the top, um, executive director of the uh, Nebraska of the National Food and Agriculture Council and the office of the uh, Secretary of Agriculture, right? Yes, uh, John has had a number of years' experience in the USDA. Um, the director essentially coordinates all the USDA programs, so that's what his job is under the secretary. Um, John actually you know, was raised in his earlier years down in Lisco, mm -hmm. so he's a Western Nebraska native, and I've known him for quite a number of years. Yeah, so he's going to probably talk a little bit about the budget and the farm bill and trade and all that stuff, so all things that the guys are going to want to know about, right? Yes. Yes, he, he has a pretty good view of, of what's going on and and uh, and trade issues, too, with uh, dry beans. Yeah. Uh, are you guys worried at all about uh, about the farm bill at all, and and what they might uh, decide to do with that? Changes with uh, things that uh, you guys might not like changed, and that kind of thing. It's always wonder what Congress is going to do, right? Well, uh, yeah, you always wonder how it's going to end up. Um, you now, the Nebraska dry bean growers have been in favor for a couple of years of actually having beans as a program crop, but that hasn't don't have all the states in agreement on that so so right now it, from the uh, dry bean council's point of view it's still keep it as it is all right how much and what does that do in making it in a program crop what advantages would that be for you well, it would be some advantages on maybe some of the pl 480 um, food assistance programs uh, maybe a little higher higher use in the school nutrition programs and uh, maybe some more availability of uh, some other things that go with the program crops, maybe some storage loan availability and, and some other things like that. Okay. All right, let's go over some of the other folks that you have just briefly. You can kind of run down who all you're going to have. Uh, for folks that uh, maybe haven't decided they're going to register yet, this might convince them to do it, huh? Well, yeah, this would be a good day. Um, of course, we've got Research and Extension Center and some of their... Um, good specialists there, uh, Jim Shield, Gary Herger, Bob Wilson, they'll start off in the morning. And uh, some in the afternoon, we're going to have uh, uh, Jeff Bradshaw and Carlos Urea. And Carlos just had won that award not very long ago for his uh, bean breeding. Mm -hmm. So uh, you've got some pretty good folks, and you've got some folks from the banks talking about lending and and so forth. And I didn't realize that this is uh, the 25th anniversary of the Nebraska Dry Bean Commission, so. Yeah, it's 25th anniversary when they split the Growers Association and the Commission into two pieces, so. And that's how long the Commission's been in effect. All right. 
This all starts at 9 o'clock with registration. You're running through uh, about mid-afternoon, 3 o'clock in the yeah, afternoon. It's so it's a pretty full day, huh? Yes. All right. Pretty full day for you guys. So uh, how much is it to register for this? Is this, uh, this is absolutely, a free, absolutely event, free? Free right? event. And growers, landowners, and get a door price ticket for door prices we'll have. And, and, uh, but we would like everybody to register so we have a pretty accurate count of who we have to show up. Yeah. Okay. All right. We'll be back with uh, more from Jeff right after this. We're speaking with Jeff Nichols. He's uh, president of the Nebraska Dry Bean Growers Association, and they're going to have their uh, annual bean day today coming up over at the Gearing Civic Center. Registration starts at 9, and then they get with the program about 9.30. It runs all the way till 3. And again, their big speaker today is John Burge, the executive director of the National Food and Agriculture Council in the office of uh, the Secretary of Agriculture. And uh, everybody knows John, and he'll I'm sure he'll give a a good message from the secretary. Uh, let's let's talk, I guess, about uh, your operation and how beans are going. How many growers we have? In, have any idea how many growers we have in the area here? Well, that would vary a little bit depending on the year. Um, the Platte Valley is the number one uh, great great northern bean production area mm -hmm. and a large and pretty large pinot production area. Yeah. Um, dry beans in our operation, uh, along with some alfalfa and some corn, and rotated in with those crops. Yeah, so you guys, uh, you guys have been on, uh, been doing this for well over a hundred years now, right? You and yeah. your father, uh, and then it's probably his father, and 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 farther back, yes. Yeah. So our operation has been in existence since it was preempted in 1888 um, by my great great uncle and I'm the fifth generation on the place yeah that's that's tremendous that's great so uh, and then this year uh, a little bit of a different year for you guys for dry bean growers in general around here kind of had some weather issues and some other things that may have kind of made it a little more complicated this year right yeah this year there was some hail events that onset of some disease and other you know, pressures because of it, um, a lot of replant beans because of it, and with the heat we had last summer, um, yields were down considerably from normal year. Yeah, and uh, of course you guys would like to see the prices go up maybe a little bit, maybe five dollars, right, from where it is right now? The, the five dollar increase would be, uh, would bring it a lot uh, closer to corn and breaker. Yeah, you got what? What is the price now? It's about forty. It's around forty, and their the producers have a lot of forty dollar contracts out for this coming year. But those are always based on the ten hundred weight per acre. Yeah, yeah. Um, let me ask you a little bit about trade and so forth in Iraq, and in, in the next minute here, maybe. Uh, uh, is, is that market opened up? Have some of your markets opened up a little bit? Um, I'm not sure how well that's opened up right now. Um, Iraq used to be, and Iran, used to be uh, real high users of Great Northern beans. Um, I'm hoping that will increase now that the presence has been there and helped out. Yeah. So you'd, you'd like to see that, uh, no question about that. So anyway, uh, this meeting starts at 9 o'clock. Uh, you have annual meeting and elections at 10.15. Uh, do you serve it just one year and then somebody else takes it over, or how does that work? Um, the directors serve for three-year terms, and the offices are elected by the board annually. Okay. So. All right. Very good. So once again, 9 o'clock today, Bean Day over at the Gearing Civic Center. 
and it runs all the way through three o'clock so if you're involved in the bean industry uh, that's probably where you need to be today is over at the Gearing Civic Center starting at nine o'clock thanks Jeff for coming in appreciate it thank you Jim okay back to you